The capital of the Lombardy region, Milan, has a population of 1.2 million and generates approximately 1,200 tons of municipal solid waste a day. A municipal refuse transfer station has been set up at AMSA's premises. Here, waste is compacted and pressed into bales, which are wrapped with plastic film before being transported by rail to an incinerator located in the north of Germany. The site is comprised of approximately 5,000 square meters on two levels of enclosed area. The average daily rate at which solid waste is received and baled varies from between 600 and 900 tons. The plant is in operation 8 to 10 hours a day. During this shift, all waste is unloaded on the tipping floor and is baled and wrapped with plastic film. It is then transported to the rail yard, which is approximately 20 kilometers, or 12 miles, from the transfer station. Trucks carrying the waste unload the loose material in the designated area of the tipping floor. A front-end loader feeds two walking floor conveyors into the charge hoppers for two Mac 112 solid waste balers. Bales are conveyed into automatic wrapping lines that completely seal all waste materials. The two Mac 112 baling presses like the two wrapping machines, are located on the ground floor. The Mac 112 model has a thrust of 200 tons and can bale up to 50 or 60 metric tons of municipal solid waste per hour. The Mac 112's hydraulic pumps are variable displacement units. The electric motors are high efficiency. The binding machine is automatic and can tie five baling wires at the same time. The MacPress L series, designed specifically for solid waste, is constructed with Hardox 500 wear-resistant bolted-on replaceable liners. Wear liner panels cover the whole compacting chamber on all three sides, as well as the baler extrusion channel. Redler conveyors have been installed all around the balers to contain leachate and scrap spillage from the extrusion channel. Solid and liquid waste spillage from the balers is collected in an open container. Leachate is collected in special tanks that are emptied at regular intervals. The Mac 112 solid waste baler makes bales up to 2.2 meters or 86 inches long. Bale weights can range from 2,660 kilos, or 5,856 pounds, up to a maximum of 2,928 kilos, or 6,442 pounds. Mac press balers are fully automatic and do not need a full-time operator. Each of the two 112 balers has its own automatic wrapping line, which can wrap a bale measuring 2.0 meters, 72 inches, in length, weighing 2,400 kilograms, 5,300 pounds, in just three minutes. The Mac 112 baler can produce a bale of waste weighing 2,400 kilos, or 5,300 pounds, in just two minutes, 30 seconds. At the end of the cycle, the bales are removed from the wrapping machines and loaded on the walking floor trailers. From there, they are carried to the rail yard and loaded into the rail cars. In terms of volumetric capacity, the trailers have room for up to 22 bales of waste. Depending on the weight of the bales, no more than 18 bales are loaded onto each truck. This is because of European regulations dictating that no more than 26 tons of material can be carried by any one vehicle. The walking floors trailers can accommodate 22 bales, but would weigh 53 metric tons fully loaded, which would exceed the legal limit. The walking floor trailers in the video are 12.5 meters or 40 feet long. Waste is carried daily to the incineration station, located in the north of Germany, approximately 1,400 kilometers or 800 miles from the city of Milan. Each rail car can carry over 50 metric tons of baled and wrapped waste. The baling and wrapping system has numerous benefits, which include 
the low cost of compacting municipal waste. Transportation of waste is optimized by using high-density bales. The increased cleanliness of the transfer station site and wrapped bale loading and unloading area. Increased capacity of the tipping floor due to the use of heavy bales. Reduced environmental impact since wrapped bales trap putrescible liquids inside. The wrapped bales have no odor and do not attract the birds usually associated with tipping floors and landfills. Bales can be stored temporarily in the event of an emergency or for scheduled or unscheduled downtime at the transfer station or incinerator facility. Wrapped bales can be used with conventional trucks, so there is no need for special vehicles. This means the same vehicle used to carry the compacted waste outward can be used to bring back different materials. Using a baling and wrapping system allows for waste to be carried by conventional means, which would not have been feasible in the past. Such means include rail cars, flatbed trucks, and standard trailers, river or sea barges, all of which operate at much lower costs than in the past. The MacPress solid waste baler is a good answer to the problem of transferring large volumes of waste in a clean, economical way. For further information, visit our site www.macpress.com